Okay, class. Gather around. This morning, we're going to talk about nutrition. Who can tell me the name of one of the five food groups? Oh, I know, I know. Well, tell us, Adam. Chocolate! <laughs> That's a good guess, Adam, because chocolate sure does taste good. And maybe a little chocolate's okay. Just about all foods can be okay as long as you eat the right portions. Um, but anybody else? Anna? How about pizza? I like bubble gum. Well... How about ice cream? Could it be pickles? Pickles! Maybe I should give you a clue. Did someone say clue? Maybe you should give us a clue as to who you are. Oh, well, my manners. The name's Quigley, Inspector Quigley. Um, and this is my portly partner, Mr. Piggly Wiggly. Wow, so pleased to meet you, Inspector Quigley and uh, Mr. Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. My friends call me Piggly. <laughs> Well, Inspector Quigley, perhaps you could give us some clues about the five food groups. Why, of course. I have pockets full of clues. Uh, let's see. <laughs> How did I get there? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh just wait. Oh. Uh, <laughs> How did I get there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <clears throat> Let's see here. Mm. To find out the scoop on every food group, follow this scholarly tip. When you're ready to start, hop in the cart and be ready to take a trip. Wow, an adventure. Where are we going? We can't tell you that. It's a surprise. Aww. I guess I could give you a clue or two. What do you think, Quigley? Oh, I don't know, Piggly. Oh, come on, Quigley. You're not one to be pig-headed. Well, all right. As long as you don't go hog wild. Okay, gentlemen. You can take these children on this field trip as long as you promise to have them back in time for spelling. No, no problem. problem. Yes! All right! It's popcorn and pizza. It's mustard and cheese. It's custard. It's cucumbers. Pickles and peas. It's ladles and light bulbs and things for the yard. A place to find most every kind of greeting card from a jelly bean to a magazine. You can find it day and night. At the... Well, can you guess? I know. <laughs> That's right. You are correct, ma'am. And not just a supermarket, a super duper supermarket. <laughs> What's a super duper supermarket? A super duper supermarket's where we love to go. Where all the fruits and vegetables put on quite a show. Every aisle will make you smile. Be sure, when you, you can, can stay and have a super duper supermarket super duper day. I can think of lots of things my mom buys at the supermarket. Me too. I always tell my dad to do grocery shopping. Oh, that's great. Why don't you guys give us some clues to what your moms and dads buy at the supermarket? Yeah! Yeah. There's broccoli and bagels and berries and beets. Cherries. Scrub brushes too. It's brooms and mop and lollipop and dog shampoo. Dog shampoo. The super duper super market's where we love to go. Where all the fruits and vegetables put on quite a show. Every aisle will make you smile. We sure hope you can stay and have a super duper super market super duper day. Every aisle.
inspector Quigley. So glad you decided to drop in. Why, Seymour Deals. We're delighted to be here. Aren't we, Piggly? Pickle Pink. And so are we. The ride here was pretty amazing. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like an emergency's in progress in the produce department. Cucumbers and some sort of a pickle. I'll have to catch up with you later, Quigley. I know with all the clues you have, you'll be able to help my new friends find their way around. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, no, that's not right. Ah, here we are. The clue. <laughs> let's see. Lemons live there, and so do tomatoes. Apples and pears, Brussels sprouts and potatoes. These treats from the ground are soon to be found. If you'll take three steps backwards and then turn around. Well, let's go, everybody. All right, here we go. Okay, you ready? One, two, three! Wow! Oh, hello, hello. I'm Emil. Welcome to my happy home here in the Isle of Produce. Emil love it here, especially with the fruit. Fruits are my life. You see, fruits keep Emil healthy and happy. They will do the very same thing for you, huh? <laughs> That is why it is important to eat fruit each and every day. <laughs> but it is a little nutty right now here in the land of fruits. You see over there, a big basket of fruit it has turned over and I am trying to get everything back in order, you know, to make my home, how you say, peachy clean? <laughs> oh. Emil, uh, I believe that I've just found a clue that may help you keep from going bananas. Oh, what is it, Inspector Quigley? When there's a job to be done, here's a way to double the fun. It'll almost be over before it's begun. If it's done by... If it's done by... I know, I know. If it's done by everyone. Great. Then come on, let's give the meal a hand. Yeah, I'll do anything for a meal. <laughs> Let's have a fruit fiesta, it's what I love best, a banana beside me, pineapple on my knee. I love the good times with the lemons and limes, a fruit fiesta's where I wanna be. Mr. Mango goes with almost anything, but he's also delicious alone. Me, oh my, yeah, the pretty papaya. I think it is the finest fruit ever grown. Who will try the mango tango with me? I will. Everything's fun with a meal. No problem. Oh, an apple always makes me lick my lips. It's appealing right to the core. Nice and juicy, it tastes so good, you see. I just can't keep from asking for more and more and more and more, senor. Let's have a fruit fiesta. It's what I love.
Thank you, thank you. You did such a wonderful job of cleaning up my happy home here in the produce department. Everyone will enjoy the, how do you say, fruits of your labor? Huh? <laughs> we thank you, Emil. Yeah, thanks. It's been great. Hey, Emil, I just thought of something. What's that, Elaine? Aren't fruits one of the five food groups? You are exactly right. Mr. Deals would be impressed. <laughs> I sure wish that he could have been here. Me too. I think I'll go find him right now and tell him all about it. Bye, Bye Emil. See you later. See you later, Emil. Goodbye. Come back and see me and remember my happy fruits. Fruits make Emil happy and they make you happy too. Hey, Quigley. I think it's time for another clue. Oh, Piggly, I agree. Let me see here. Yeah, I've got my pockets full. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry, that's not it. Oh. Lettuce? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, so sorry. <laughs> Take that. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, yes, let's see now. Mm. Our clue. Right alongside the friendly fruits, you'll find some more friends from the ground. They come in bunches and bushels and bags, and they even come by the pound. They give us lots of get up and go. They help us to be at our best. If you eat them every day, your body will be impressed. Oh, howdy. Uh, pardon me, I was just keeping an eye on one of these potatoes. Uh, already choke. Uh, detective already choke. Uh, Quigley. Inspector Quigley. Oh, and this is my portly partner, Mr. Piggly Wiggly. Oh, pleased to make your acquaintance, Mr. Wiggle. <laughs> That's Wiggly, but please call me Pig or, uh, Piggly. <laughs> well, you can call me Artie, Mr. Pickle. Ah, uh, that's Piggly. <laughs> hmm, Quigley. Quigley? I've heard of you somewhere. Oh, yeah, I know. You're the guy with all those clues, aren't you? Well, I've been known to come up with a clue or two. <laughs> Well, I know I'm no Inspector Quigley, but I have been known to have a clue or two myself. They come in every color, they come in every size. Some are spears, some have ears, there are even some with eyes. Some like living underground, some just love the sun. Some are great just as they are, some are better done. Without a doubt, that cuisine is just routine Till you try out a bean sprout Vegetables Try them steamed and try them stewed Vegetables There's one to suit your every mood Make your day complete With the treat that can be beat Eat vegetables I'm speechless over spinach And onions make me cry Broccoli trees and black-eyed peas I really like to try I just love asparagus Eggplant I adore Cauliflower's calling me Oh, oh we just can't, can't ignore those vegetables Purple, yellow, red, and green vegetables They make you strong and keep you lean Make your day complete With a treat that can't be beat Eat vegetables If you want to operate at your peak, eat them every day of the week. Hey, I think I just figured out what another one of the five food groups is. I think it probably is. Vegetables. Purple, yellow, red, and green. Vegetables. They make you strong and keep you lean. Vegetables. We know without a doubt that Quizme is just routine. I had no idea I'd be gone so long. 
After I got the cucumbers out of their pickle, they paged me and said that the strawberries were in some sort of a jam. So I had to step in and try to preserve the peach. Uh, the peace. And the cherries, they needed cheering up because they were really in the pits. Seems like they're always stirring something up. Oh, looks like there's a message here for you, Quigley. For me? Well, you are Inspector Quigley, aren't you? Oh, well, of course. Here. Ah, a clue. Do exactly as I say. Let Piggly Wiggly lead the way. Follow him. He'll show to you someone who is counting on you. Hmm. I'm not quite sure I follow. Do you, Piggly? Well, sure, it all adds up. There is someone who's counting on us. Oh, looks like some veggies in the deli are all steamed up. I better go see if I can get them to simmer down. I'll catch up with you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys, you ready? Sure! Get in line, everyone. Okay, we're gonna count together. You ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. There, yeah, a perfect baker's dozen. <laughs> Wait a minute, a dozen is twelve, not thirteen. Yeah, yeah, that's what my teacher told me. Well, your teacher's right. Then that means you're wrong, right? <laughs> wrong, I'm right. Then she's wrong, right? No, she's right. Something's wrong. You can't both be right. Nothing's wrong. All right. No, really. We both are right. You'll see. A dozen is 12, but a baker's dozen is 13. Oh. We add just a little extra just for good measure. Do you think you might have just a little extra around here for us? But of course. Frankly, Fresh is not one to loaf around. I'm busy baking up a baker's dozen of baker's dozens right now. I'm making a baker's dozen. I'll make 13 of every treat. I'm making a baker's dozen. But this baker's work won't be complete till first I make some birthday cakes. Then watch and wait while each one bakes. I'm making a baker's dozen. And when they're done, we'll eat. <laughs> And the second thing I'll do, I'll bake some dinner rolls for you. Number three up on my list, flaky low-fat cinnamon twist. Number four, I think I'll try my brand new recipe for I. We're making a baker's dozen, and when they're done, we'll eat. Number five, now here's a clue. They're made with berries that are blue. I know, I know, blueberry muffins. Oh, <laughs> very good. Number six, I just can't wait to put some breadsticks on my plate. Number seven on our fair is cupcakes that are light as air. We'll make in a baker's dozen, and when they're done, we'll eat. eat. Number eight's my favorite one. What's a burger without a bun? Number nine, I love to say, Papa Nichols on the way. Papa Nichols on the way. Number ten, I love to munch oatmeal cookies with my punch. We're, We're making a baker's dozen, and when they're done, we'll eat. Number eleven's hard to beat. Bagels made with pure whole wheat. Number twelve, I like a lot. Hoagies always hit the spot. Number thirteen, last not least, French bread's fit for any feast. We're, We're making a baker's dozen, and when they're done, we'll eat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's eat! <laughs> Mmm, this angel food cake is heavenly! Mr. Fresh told me that breads and grains were one of the five food groups. It's hard to believe that something that tastes this good is something we're supposed to eat every day. But that's what Mr. Fresh told me. Isn't that right, Mr. Fresh? Mr. Fresh? Where did he go? Yeah, I, I didn't see him leave. Hmm. Something very funny going on here. I'm going to case the place until I find Did out... Did somebody say case?
Well, yes. Uh, I was just saying I'm going to case this place until I find Frankly Fresh. It seems he's disappeared. Ah, a missing persons case. Derry Mason, attorney at law, specializing in dairy cases. I'll be glad to take your, uh, cake, your case. Um, all right, looks like you're, you're all witnesses here. I think you better come with me. Now, back to the case, the dairy case. The dairy case is the very place I like to look a lot. Whenever I'm gazing, it's always amazing to see all the goodies it's got. Yum, yum, eat em up, feed em up. Yum, yum, you need em every day. Yum, yum, eat em up, feed em up. Try em your favorite way. quite yummy. Any way you slice it, cheddar cheese is nice. And mozzarella too. The yogurt's delightful. And every bite fall is loaded with good things for you. Yum, yum, eat them up, eat them up. Yum, yum, eat them every day. Yum, yum, eat them up, eat them up. Try them your favorite way. What a day. <laughs> After I got most of the veggies to simmer down, a few of the onions were still in a stew. <laughs> oh, what's this? Uh, oh, looks like a message for you, Inspector Quigley. Oh, uh, me? Well, you are Inspector Quigley, aren't you? Oh, yes, uh, yes, of course. Nothing beats a great pair of eggs, if it's only once a week. The milk's been great, but we must move on. <laughs> Cause there's someone to whom you must speak. Stick with Mr. Piggly Wiggly, cause you're going to love the place that pig is taking you. It's sure a cut above. Hey, follow me, kids. <laughs> Howdy, folks. R.D. Eaton here. Been waiting for you all day. Thought I was going to have to wait till the cows come home. <laughs> well, sorry we kept you waiting, R.D. We've been having a dairy good time in the very case. <laughs> oh, I mean a very good time in the dairy case. <laughs> well, if it's got anything to do with a cow, it's okay with a cowboy like me. Uh, R.D., can you tell us about what you have here in the meat and seafood section? Ooh, ooh. I know. There's ground beef and lean steaks and, and pork chops. And uh, don't forget seafood. There's salmon and tuna and grouper and codfish and flounder and shrimp and lobster and crab. And... You don't have to ham it up. We get your point. Chicken is my favorite. I could eat it every day. And that would be okay. Then this must be... One of the five food groups. I like turkey the best, and I wish I could try every kind of fish. Well, no matter what your taste buds are telling you, we got something you're gonna love. If you'd like a bit of lobster, if you're hankering for some ham, if you're pining for a pork chop or crazy for a clam, each delicious and nutritious dish you're wishing for, we have in store for you. Meet the meats. See the seafood. Come and greet each delectable delight. Meet the meats. See the seafood. It's a welcome sight for every appetite. Come and play. Drink one pack with protein. Your body will be loving everybody. 
checking out a chicken for a backyard barbecue. If you're ready for spaghetti or begging for beef stew, each delicious and nutritious dish you're wishing for, we have in store for you. Inspector Quigley? Oh, there you are. Look, I, I can't stay long. I've got to get over the pasta and straighten out the lasagna, but I did want to give you this message. Oh, here it is. I wrote it down for you. Uh, for me? Oh, yes. I am Inspector Quigley. Oh, Seymour? Yes? How did you get this message? A uh, little bird told me. Oh, Seymour? Well, he wasn't so little. <laughs> We've had a great meeting, but now someone's needing to lead us somewhere where wintry winds blow. If you are willing, the chill will be thrilling. Just say the word and we'll go. What word? Bird is the word, dude. Bird? That's right. Wow, who are you? Where did you come from? And why are you blue? I'm I.C. Frost, a direct descendant of Jack. I come from down south of here, and let me tell you, you'd be blue too if you spent every day where I do. Where's that? Walk this way. I think my toes are turning blue. Me too. Makes me feel brand new. I do a dance, a little dance on the I, I, I. Yes, I love to dance, 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 cause it feels so nice. If you want a boogie now, listen up, I'll show you how to do the deep freeze. I said freeze, Piggly, do the deep freeze, the deep freeze. He is so cool, but his music is really hot. <laughs> When we're blue, there's something we do It warms our hearts and makes us feel brand new We do a dance, a little dance on the yeah, yeah, yeah We love to dance, dance, dance Cause it feels so nice If you wanna boogie now, listen up We'll show you how to do the deep freeze I said freeze, pig, let do the deep freeze The deep freeze Look around and you'll see this is cooler than cool Once you've seen the frozen food, I know that you'll be Glad you came here, you won't mind the breeze. Get ready for the deep freeze. Rock with the rose, grab a bagel and buff. Cut a rug with the corn, that's the cream of the crop. Wiggle with the waffle, hit her wet with the peas. Get ready for the deep freeze. When we're blue, there's something we do. It warms our hearts and makes us feel brand new. We do a dance, a little dance on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause we love to dance, 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 cause it feels so nice. If you want a boogie now, listen up, we'll show you how to do the deep freeze. I said freeze, pig, let me do the deep freeze, the deep freeze. Hey kids, just got a message from your teacher. She said uh, it's almost time for spelling. Well, kids, your carriage awaits. Time to get back to school. Dressed like this? No problem! Awesome! We better hurry or we'll be late. We can't leave until we tell everybody goodbye, can we, Mr. Deals? Mr. Deals? 
I don't know where Senor Deals is now, but I just saw him and he said you were leaving. Remember me and my happy fruits. It's important to eat fruits each and every day. Adios! Bye! Bye. Catch you later. Shucks, I'm sure gonna miss you. In the meantime, don't you forget to eat your vegetables every day. Don't forget, I'm counting on you to have some bread or cereal every day. Bye, <laughs> Mr. Fresh! In case I don't see you again, remember, have a healthy treat from the dairy case every day. Sorry y'all gotta hit the trail. Sure glad I got to meet you. Don't forget, keep it lean. So long, Marty! <laughs> it was like so cool to meet you. And like, hey, don't forget the deep freeze. Okay, you can chill out now. Come and visit my super duper supermarket any day. Bye, kids. Thanks, Mr. Neal. Wow, it's been a great day. But we need to get back and thank your teacher for letting you be here. Maybe she can come with you next time. In the meantime, remember what you learned about the five food groups. And always remember what my portly partner says. Every day can be a super duper supermarket super duper day. <laughs> Hey, Piggly Pals, see you next week.